I bet you wanna know how being a mermaid is like. So I'll show you. It's gonna be our secret. I'm so fancy. You already know I'm in the fast lane from LA to Tokyo. Okay, so to make yourself these cute t-shirts, you're going to need fabric paint, a sponge, a stencil, recycled cardboard and an exact O knife for the mermaid one. Fabric, a stencil, scissors, needle and thread or fabric glue and an iron for the cross one and ribbon, scissors, needle and thread or fabric glue for the last one. So, the first thing you gotta do to become officially a mermaid is go online and look for a seashell image that you like and that look easy to cut. Once you have it, you are going to cut the interior part so you are left with just the outline of the seashell. Now you are gonna trace that outline in a piece of cardboard and right after that you are going to use your X-Acto knife to cut the interior part again so you are left with the perfect template for your t-shirt now figure out where you want the seashells to go once you put your t-shirt on aka your boobs <laughs> and secure the template with some duct tape so it doesn't move while you are painting you can take some heavy objects and place them on top of your stencil to make sure it isn't going to move at all. Once you're done, do the same exact thing with the other side. Be really careful placing the template to avoid a possible mess because you want your seashells to be right next to each other. With all these steps accomplished, now you just have to go with a thin brush all over the edges of your seashells so they look all clean and cute and after that you're pretty much done congratulations for the next one just take an image of a cross and print it out now cut it and place it on top of the ugly side of your fabric. Trace the cross and then draw some lines that you're going to use as the torn up part of the cross. Now cut everything and fold those turn ups that you've drawn previously. After that you just have to figure out where you want your curls to be and you got two options here. You can either glue it directly to the fabric or take some pins, attach it to your t-shirt and then sew it. I prefer sewing this time because it looks better in my opinion, but if you find a good quality fabric glue you can totally go with it. And that's it. The last one is the easiest one. I got inspired by an image I saw on the internet but I wanted to make it a little bit different using an oversized t-shirt. So all you gotta do is making a gentle cut on both shoulders of your t-shirt. Now pinch the fabric of the sleeve and create a bow shape. Take a piece of ribbon, wrap it around the piece of fabric and sew it. If your t-shirt happens to have a cute pocket, you can use some of the ribbon to decorate it as well. And if not, 
you can take a piece of fabric and create a pocket yourself. I don't know, it's just a suggestion guys. The good thing about this is that you can make them super personal and unique. They are super easy to do and I think they look really cute. So if you finally decide to make some of these, don't forget to send me a picture of your creation through Instagram or Twitter. And that was everything. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Everything is said. So thank you so much for everything and I'll see you soon. Thank you, promise. It's real. Kisses. Bye.